This is an overview for UD Voices mobile app called Elevate UC for Unified Communications. First, you'll want to go to either the Play Store or the Apple App Store to download the app. When you go to search for the app, you'll search for Elevate UC as seen here. You will install that app. Once it is installed, you should have an icon on your home screen. You can launch this to see the app. It will actually have you sign in the first time, but we've already signed in on our demo account here. This is an app overview. When you actually log into the app, you'll have a blue bar across the top that has several icons. The first icon is the contacts icon where you can see all your contacts. And also at the bottom right hand corner, you'll display the nine key keypad to open up the dial pad. You can dial a number from here and make a call to any extension number or outside number. If you go back, it'll take you to the next icon on the blue bar, which is the phone button. This shows your call history of incoming and outgoing calls. The next button over is the text message or internal instant messaging button to where you can have text messages to external numbers using your callers, your phone's DID, or you can use the instant messaging internal or SMS. Next, we'll go over to the voicemail button to where you can see the voicemails. You'll see I have two voicemails here for test. If you click on one of the voicemails, it will actually transcribe the voicemail so you can see it says, hello, this is Jason, give me a call back when you get a chance in text, or you can click the play button to actually play the voicemail and listen to it. Also on this, you can share the voicemail with the share button, or you can delete the voicemail by pressing the trash can button. It will ask you to confirm that. Now we'll go over how to receive calls on the Elevate app on your smartphone. Anytime there's an incoming call, the actual call will show up on a pop-up on your screen. So that your app will actually show the caller ID with answer or decline. You can choose either. At this time, we're going to choose answer. Once you answer the phone call, you will see all the options across the uh, blue bar at the top. The first option, we have mute. Whenever you click the mute button, it will mute your microphone but the caller will not be able to hear you, but you can still hear them on the earpiece or speakerphone if you have it on speakerphone. The second option over is Call Flip. Call Flip allows you to flip the call from this mobile app back to your desktop cell phone app or to your desktop phone sitting on your desk. The pause button is actually a live hold. If you press that hold button, you will see it says on hold on the screen, and the caller will hold me hear your hold music, but they will not be able to hear you. We'll undo the hold by pressing the pause button one more time. There's, there's also a keypad that you can press in order to pull up to do touch tones during a phone call. The plus button allows you to do a conference call. And we'll go over that a little bit later. The speaker button with a slash through it goes to speaker phone or back to earpiece. And the three dots in the last item on the blue bar Pulls up, transfer, or part call, which we'll go over shortly. To make phone calls on the Elevate UD Voice app, simply open the app, and you can click on the contacts icon in the top left on the blue bar. You can choose any of these contacts to make a phone call from. If you wish to place a phone call to a previous call that you made or history or received call or made call, you can click on the phone icon and see all these previous calls. Or if you simply wish to dial in the bottom right hand corner, you can click the button and dial the number that you wish. Now we're going to go over how to do a transfer. Once you have a live caller on the phone, you can press the three dots on the top right hand of the blue bar and hit transfer. At this time, you can choose one of your contacts to transfer and we'll transfer it to extension 200, which is a demo by hitting the call button. This will actually transfer the call and now is ringing over to extension 200. You can also transfer to numbers outside your organization by typing in the number using the keypad. Now we'll go over how to do a conference call on the mobile app. Once you already have at least one caller on the line, you can click the plus button, pick a contact, or you can dial an additional number like we're going to do. When calling that caller, they'll ring their phone, and once they answer, you'll have them on the line. You can let them know that you're going to have a conference call with them, and you can connect the two callers together by pressing the three dots and hit make conference. 
This will join the conference call alerts together, and you can have a three-way conference this way. Once you do that, you'll notice that there is a split button right beside the speakerphone button that you can click. They'll split the callers back out. If you notice it placed one caller back on hold at the bottom of the screen, you can click on that caller to switch back to them, or you can click the three buttons, three dots again in order to make a conference call with the two callers once again. We're now going to go over how to park a call on the mobile app. Once you have at least one live caller on the phone, you can click the three dots and then click Park Call. It will show you on the screen the call is parked at extension 980. You can let your colleagues or another person in your organization know that the caller is parked at extension 980 and they can pick that up. If you wish to pick up the call yourself on the, another mobile app, all you need to do is dial extension 980 and hit send. Now you'll pick up that park call and you'll have the caller ready to go. We'll now go over the call flip feature. The call flip feature is a feature that allows you to have the live caller on your mobile app, press a button, and it will flip to your desk phone or mobile app on the desktop. To do this, we'll press the call flip button, which is the second button over on the blue bar. Once you do this, it will flip the call over to your other device to where you can answer the call and pick it up. The caller will hear a brief hold music during this flip, but it's a great way to answer a call and be able to go out the door by flipping it to your mobile device, or if you're coming back in the door and wish to pick it back up on your desk phone, you can flip it to your desk phone. There are several options on the mobile app by clicking the settings gear in the top right hand corner. As you can see, your little icon has a green dot showing that you're available. If you're using the internal instant messaging you wish to show yourself as a way, you can click the I button for information in the top right hand corner, choose status, and put busy. That way people do not disturb you. If you wish to receive messages again, you can go back to available on your status. Hit the back arrow in the top left hand corner to go back. You can also access your online meeting software from here or ShareSync. If you go to settings, you can see there are several settings here. There's a use mobile data setting, which if toggled off, only uses Wi-Fi to make and receive calls. Most of the time you'll want to leave this turned on to where you can also use your mobile data. So as you're roaming around, you'll still receive calls. Also there is use push notifications. This is great because it saves battery life on your mobile app on your phone. If this is on, then when your app does not have to be open in order to receive calls. If you wish to only receive calls when the app is open, you can toggle this toggle off. And you will have to open the app anytime you wish to receive calls. Most of the time, people like to keep this on just so they can receive calls at any point in time. Also, there is enable native calls. This will make the native calling app aware of elevate calls. So if you click on numbers on your phone in various locations, it will actually pop up and allow you to call using the elevate app. At the bottom, you can choose how you want to ring your extension, what ringtone you wish to have, and choose whether you wish the app to vibrate or not. We'll go back to the previous screen. There's also Find Me, Follow Me, to where you can actually set up how you want your phone to ring. If you have the mobile app, this is usually not necessary, but you can say forward to another phone or forward to another contact in case you're out of the office. We'll go back one screen. You can also click on Voicemail. This will load up the voicemail to where you can change your default greeting, change your PIN number, choose whether you want transcriptions, choose whether you want to be notified of a new voicemail, and which email address you wish to see, be notified to. Also, there is a toggle at the very bottom that allows you to attach the voicemail as an audio file to your email. Let's go back to the previous screen. There's also chat. This allows you to get chat notifications or turn them off on the mobile app and also the same for group notifications for your internal instant messaging through the Elevate platform. Back to the previous screen, you can see there's a few more options there. There's Sync Contacts to Elevate. This will allow you to sync the contacts from your mobile phone to your contacts on Elevate so that it'll sync across your phone and your desktop app. There's also Silent Mode. They'll turn off toward the app won't function or ring in case you're in a meeting. And then Mobile Assistant, is also a new feature that's also in beta at this moment that allows it to see your calling patterns and see on incoming calls as well to assist you in different ways. Now we'll go over the chat and text messaging feature. 
Click on the third icon over. It'll allow you to text external numbers using the DID or the direct inward dial number that's assigned to your extension. Or you can chat with internal people with the Elevate platform as well. We'll do a text message just to demo how this works. So you can click on the chat button at the bottom and start a new chat or SMS message. Since we already have a caller here, we'll go ahead and click on them to continue our message. Once we send a message, they'll receive that in their text on their cell phone or any other platform they have. They can also text message you back. So as they text back, you'll be able to see the messages they send back to you. And you can continue on back and forth like this way. Now we'll go over voicemail and how it works in the app. Once you click on the voicemail button, which is the fourth button over, you can see there are voicemails. Looks like we have one here already. If you click on the voice message, you can see that it shows who the caller was from, when the time was, you can also see the transcription of the voicemail. You can click the play button to actually play it, share it, delete it, or mark it red.